You guys have been asking for it and I finally got my hands on one. An RF fractional micro needling device. So this one is from RNS Beauty. If you're not familiar with RNS Beauty, RNS Beauty is one of my trusted sellers. I just started working with them about a month ago. So I wanted a seller that fit the filled the gap between MTS Aesthetics and My Chai Wei, and RNS is the company that can do that. So this is a radio frequency fractional microneedling machine. So I just received this the other day, so let's do an unboxing, put it together, and see how it works. This is the main unit, and it's pretty self-explanatory. This is going to be for the cold hammer, and this is going to be for the radio frequency. And then, of course, the power supply here. So this is what came in my box. It has the two handle holders, one for the cold hammer, the other one for the micro needling handle. It came with four different micro needling cartridges and they range all the way from a 10 pin, 25 pin, 64 pin, and then the nano pin. And then of course the power supply. So the first thing I'm going to do is install the handle holders. And it already has the screws in place here on each side. So I'm just going to remove the screws, place the handle holders in place, and plug this in. So it's pretty obvious that this side is for the cold hammer. So that's the side I'm going to put this handle on. And it already comes with screws here. So I'm just going to remove the screws, place the handle on. This is just a Phillips, a small Phillips screwdriver. That was super easy. And I'm just using the styrofoam that the machine came in to hold it so that I don't scratch anything. I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. That's super easy to do, and it's it, it, this machine is not heavy. It's probably less than five pounds, so that's nice that it's not super big and bulky. And then it has a little washer to hold it tight. It's just like that. We'll put on the micro needling handle. So this one has a suction. Here's the suction hose. Okay, so that's all set. So this would be the bag of parts that it comes with comes with three extra hoses and two fuses that attach here and then the power cord. The power cord goes here. With this machine, you can treat the face and the body. So when you do radio frequency microneedling, you can also treat subcutaneous fat. So if you wanted to use this machine for body sculpting, you absolutely could. 
you would just use the larger size needles and set the depth to a deeper depth. With this, you can choose face or body. And it has an auto mode and a manual mode. The face on the auto mode shows you exactly what areas to treat and the depth in which to treat them. They also provide a user guide to show you exactly how to use this machine, which a lot of companies don't even provide that. But it shows you if you wanted to use around the eyes, what depth you should go to, what pin, what needle cartridge you should use. If you want to use it on your body, it tells you there again what, what needle cartridge you should use and the depth that you, should, you, you can go for fat loss. So here it shows you A, automatic mode, and M for manual mode. And so the A would be for the face and the, and the M would be for the body. So here it shows the actual depths in which you can go around whatever area that you're working on. It also has for acne scars and for scarring. So when so, you hear about radio frequency microneedling, the big debate is insulated needles or non-insulated needles. Non-insulated radio frequency microneedling is heating the skin all the way down to the tip of the needle, where insulated microneedling, insulated radio frequency microneedling is only heating the very tip of the needle. So that's kind of the difference between the radio frequency microneedling and this is the gold needles, the gold insulated needles with this machine. So this is in a sealed pod. So I'm just going to remove the foil top and this is what it looks like. And I don't want to touch it because my hands aren't sterile so I don't want to touch the tip of the, of the micro needling cartridge so I'm going to try and install this without touching it. Oh that was super easy. That was so, so easy. And then this connects right to this little tip here right over that. These handles also have a trigger here so that you can, when you're doing your treatments, you can just hit the trigger on the actual handle. So let's see what this looks like when it's powered up. So it has for the face and for the body. So that's the face and then the body. So this cartridge would be for the face because they tell us the 25 pin is for the face. So here they're saying that the suction should be set at a one to two. So I'm gonna leave it at a one. The speed should be a two or a three. Whoops. So we'll put it at the two. The depth should be the depth should be a 1.0 to a 1.5. So let's change the depth. Millimeter. And the wattage should be between 60 and 100. So let's change the wattage. Okay. Now let's see. This is what it looks like. And again, there's the trigger. See that? That's super fast. So the maximum that this will even allow you to do is a 2.0. So let's see what that looks like. That's pretty cool. Pause. So see how it reset when I went to a different area? So then this tells me here for the forehead what to set it at, the speed, and the RF watts. So let's try that again. Yep. For the forehead, 5 to 1.0.
Now let's try the body and see what this looks yeah. like. Depth, 3.5 millimeter depth and 150 watts. See the suction to the speed bar. Wow, that's really deep. So that would be for the body, and if you wanted to work on some subcutaneous fat. So this is an infrared thermometer that I have because I want to test the temperature on the cold hammer. I was able to get the cold hammer down to 54 degrees Fahrenheit. I think it was 54.8. So that's pretty cool when you're wanting to treat inflamed skin. So my takeaway on this machine so far is that it's very user friendly. I like user friendly. I like that the company thinks about the consumer and gives them a guide, a how-to guide on how to use this, how to use their equipment. This tells you exactly what settings to use for whatever part of your face or what settings to use for your body. It was super easy to set up. It was super easy to put it all together. It's very lightweight, so it's not like you have a big bulky machine that you have to worry about. So, so far, I'm very impressed with it. I'm impressed that it walks you through everything. It gives you the set parameters, and if you use it if you follow, for instance, the facial features of this, if you follow the facial features on this guide, it will only let you go so deep and at a certain temperature. It won't let you overdo, it won't let you go any deeper than what the parameters are set. So I really like that. So as long as you don't override it and take the initiative to, to override the machine, I feel this would be a very safe machine to own. I'm gonna do a part two and actually show my treatments. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit scared because I've never used one of these before, but just playing with it and doing the unboxing, I feel confident that I'll be able to get through it. And as always, everything I use in my videos will have links in the description box below. If you enjoyed this video, please let me know. Like and subscribe and leave a comment down below.